Hi friends, today in this session we will discuss blood relations topic. So this this topic is come under reasoning section. So if you attend any competitive exam or placement test, reason in reasoning, blood relation from blood relations topic you will be getting almost four to five questions, even more. Okay. So this is very important and very easy one. If you like, uh, so in general we have relationships uh, in our uh, like uh, real life. So if we compare these questions with our real life. so answering blood relations questions are very very easy okay so don't complicate things just try to uh, like easily answer so i am giving you like before starting this uh, topic so let me write what is today's topic is so today's topic is blood relations so this topic is uh, like definitely you will be getting five or more five or more questions in any of the competitive exam or any of the placement test okay in placement test you will be getting almost 3 to 4 questions in bank exams you will be getting almost 5 questions okay so let's see this uh, topic so before uh, uh, directly jumping into the questions we have six important points before uh, to remember before attempt attempting this blood relations topic okay so whenever you uh, like uh, come across with the blood relationship uh, uh, blood relation question so you need to write uh, like draw a diagram so whenever you are getting some information from the question you need to immediately write it and draw a diagram so what is that diagram so they will be giving some information in the question like this so you need to write, write uh, like draw a family tree so if you uh, draw this family tree almost 70% of the answer is in front of you okay so if you uh, if you draw a family tree uh, from the question given so you will be able to answer the answer very easily okay so the second point is like after drawing the diagram second point is like so every generation must be on new line so it will be easy for you to answer the question easily so uh, why i am making it as a separate point is like every generation should be on new new line okay so like this every generation should be on new line so that is easy for you to identify and all so third point is so symbols must so symbols must be simple so what is symbols so we we do have a generally plus symbol minus symbol and cross mark and equal to symbol also okay so these symbols will be using to denote whether the person is male if the person is male we will denote with plus symbol if the person is female we will denote with minus symbol if they are married couple then we will de uh, denoted with into if they are siblings we will denoted with equal to so these are the major symbols we'll be using in the blood relations topic okay so so it must be simple so you cannot complicate things by taking uh, different different symbols in your family tree and all okay the next point is fourth point okay the fourth point is like uh, in some questions the data will be given so in the data gender cannot be decided on the given name okay for example if in the question if they given like sam so you cannot say sam is like uh, or samantha like that so you cannot say she is a, she is a female okay so there might be a chance of having male also so what my point is like you cannot decide you cannot decide based upon the given name the gender and all okay so that is the fourth point so next the fifth point is like there is no useless relationship there is no absolutely useless useless relationship some of the people will say or think uh, i have uh, like girlfriend or boyfriend there is a chance of being like this or uh, something like friends we have l number of friends so how to identify friends in this relationship there is no friends no this kind of activities or a man with two wives absolutely not allowed in the blood relations topic a man with two wives friends or any other useless relationships is not at all allowed okay the sixth point is like and it is the last point if you remember these points it will be easy for you to attempt a, a blood relations topic sixth point is like a, you have to uh, like draw your own uh, you basically we all have our family side so you can uh, draw your own family tree for example i uh, like father mother so father is a male plus mother is minus so uh, 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 these are these both are married cross mark so these have some children and all okay so there are two sons for this family and one daughter so you will be writing like this so for this daughter there is a husband and uh, they, this has two children yes okay like this so these are all like uh, siblings we will be denoting with equal to okay so like this if you draw your own family tree then it is very easy for you to attempt blood relations topic in a very easy way so i hope you understood this uh, six topics or six uh, 
uh, simple points so if you remember these six simple points this is very easy for you to attempt bread relationship questions in any exam whether it is a competitive exam or a placement test so there are certain kind of uh, questions in bread relationship like uh, almost three to five models will be, will be there so if you follow that three to five models it will be very easy for you to understand these questions and it is very easy for you to answer it all okay I hope you understood these six points. So please keep in mind uh, before attending any blood relation topic. So that will be very useful for you. So let's see the questions. Like if you uh, prepare these uh, three to five problems or three to five methods, it will be easy for you to correct any question. Okay, from this particular topic. So first question is like. Uh, uh, before attending a topic, uh, just a quick recap what we uh, want to uh, like, remember and all. So whenever we have come across a male person, we need to denote it with him plus symbol. And if, if we didn't uh, like male, pers male person plus symbol, female, if, if we come across a female person minus. If we come across a married couple, okay, if we come across a married couple, cross mark. If we come across like uh, uh, what we say like siblings brother sister or cousin like that brother sister relationship then we will be uh, representing them in equal to symbol so these are the four major symbols you need to keep in mind uh, before attempting this topic i hope you clear with this point yeah okay so let's dive into problems uh, let's see more and more examples to get a clear idea so after seeing two to three problems, we'll be getting a clear overview, like how exactly you need to attempt this blood relationship questions. Okay. So first question is like, I'm reading question for you. If A is brother, brother of B, B is the sister of C and C is the father of D, how is D is related to A? So this is the question they given. So exactly, I'm uh, like uh, drawing a family tree. Whenever you're drawing a family tree, remember 70% of your answer is completed. So answer is in front of you. So right, try to. Uh, learn how to draw blood relationship family tree start from your family and try to other questions okay first so they are saying that if a is brother of b so i said a is brother of b so whenever you come across siblings you need to give equal to symbol here so a, a is brother clearly they are saying a is the brother of b so we don't know the what is the gender of b we cannot pre uh, assume the gender of any given member okay next b is the sister of c so b is the sister so b means b is the sister of c okay and c is the father of d so c is the father of d c is the father of d so d is the son c is the father in the sense plus okay how d is related to a so how d is related to a so they are asking how d is related to a so if you remember, uh, if you got this type of question, how D is related to A? So they are asking, uh, like, uh, like how to, uh, who, like A is calling D in which relation they are asking. So we don't have uh, the relationship of D. So simply we can say cannot be determined. Okay. Why? Because D is unknown. For example, if D is plus, I mean D is male, if D is male, then we will call certain relationship or minus. We can say certain relationship. But here, these don't have any gender at all. So we can say we cannot be determined. So see a couple of examples. You will be getting clear idea what, what to do exactly. Okay. I hope, hope you understand how to draw family tree and all. So like this only, we will draw and try to answer the question. I'm reading question for you. P is the mother of K. K is the sister of D. D is the father of J. How is P related to J? Okay, so let's draw a diagram so that you will be getting almost a clear overview what is answer and all. Okay, let's start the solution. So I'm just writing what the question is given here, but before uh, uh, like drawing this, you need to know how to write the family tree and all. So they are given P is the mother of K. So what they given? P is the mother of K. P is the mother of K in the sense. So P is the mother of K. So they clearly saying P is 
mother so that means minus p is the mother of k next point is k is the sister of d so k is the sister sister in the sense sibling so equal to k is the sister of sister means minus k is the sister of d and the next point is d is the father of j so they are saying d is the father of j d is the father so d is the father means d plus okay d is the father of j so what the question they are asking what like what need to to be fine so how is p related to j so how is p, so i'm telling you a simple trick here so in many of the uh, uh, questions they will be ending the question like this how is p related to j how is like we can also get how is a related to b how is c related to d but the question remains same here asking how is p related to g so remember uh, if they given question like this uh, what you need to find out so how is p related to g so so you need to uh, find how uh, like this j uh, like what to call this p that is the main solution or answer okay you need to assume how uh, like how what is the relation of j to p so uh, in this scenario like uh, j is in the third generation and p is in the first generation so like what who, what to call j j has to call p as grandmother so p is in the first generation and j is in the third generation so j uh, like call p grandmother so y mother means it is minus symbol so j calling p as grandmother so that is your answer or solution so you will pick the option as grand grandmother okay so i hope you understood this uh bread relations uh, questions uh, i hope you got some clarity over there so just you need to uh, make a beautiful family tree and there you need to find the solution uh, in some of the competitive exams you will be getting uh, options and all or in placement test also you will getting four to five options you will easily pick one of one among them okay so there is another model also so i'm just reading question for you you can uh, like just answer yourself okay so there is a question like pointing to a pointing to girl lokesh said she is the doctor of only sister of my father how is lokesh related to the girl so this is the question in many of the competitive exams or bank in bank examinations will be given so you need to find the logic over there uh, like uh, they will be asking like uh, pointing to a photograph uh, lokesh said something like that they will frame a question you need to be prepared for this question also so i hope uh, you uh, got some clarity of this uh, blood relationship topic if you have any doubts comment me in the comment section or ask me any doubt in the comment section so i'll reply in a high priority so i hope this session super excited and helpful for you so thanks for watching this video do share this video to your friends and colleagues who are preparing for competitive exams or placement tests and this is super helpful for them so thanks for watching this video thank you